530, a story that proves no time period is too long and it's never too late to celebrate a hero who paid the ultimate price. A Hoosier family got closure today when Airman Howard Martin returned home this afternoon. DNA supplied by his brother and sister was used to identify his remains. Those remains were recovered from a plane crash during the Korean War. Derek Thomas reports his final destination is Elwood. After 62 years, Howard Martin is finally home. It's been a long, long journey. The first stop on the journey today was at the airport. The flag-draped casket was back on Hoosier soil. Martin's brothers and sisters were waiting on the tarmac. He finally made it. He finally made it. He finally made it. Wonderful kid. They all know the story of how then 21-year-old Howard Martin was traveling on a C-124 transport plane on November 22, 1952, when it slammed into a mountain 50 miles east of Anchorage, Alaska. 52 airmen were killed. They know, but the folks watching from the terminal didn't know, but were still moved to tears. The Indiana Patriot Guard knows, and they stood at attention with flags as the hearse made its way back to Elwood. Waiting for the arrival was Martin's nephew. And he was kind of the apple of the family's eye. He could do no wrong. First uh, Martin child, I believe, to go to college. So he had great aspirations on what he was going to achieve in his life. So it was a, it was a big devastation when, when they got the news that he passed away. But there was nothing but respect for Martin as the hearse drew closer to its final resting place. Is this important? Yes, I think it is. I think, uh, you know, it's, it's very good that people's coming out to honor the people that serve and, and keep us free. The mayor of Elwood recognized Martin's contribution and proclaimed it Airman Third Class Howard Martin Remembrance Day and presented a plaque to his family. Military pallbearers carried the casket into the funeral home. Martin's family appreciated every moment. For people who never knew him, you know, just come out to show their support for a complete stranger and their family, that's a big deal. Martin will be buried Saturday afternoon right here in the Elwood City Cemetery. He'll be laid to rest right next to his mother and father. In Elwood, Derek Thomas, RTV6. And that funeral begins at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon.